Hey friends, Mike and Rochelle here in the garden. We're gonna be harvesting our sweet potatoes. We've got two different varieties, our purple Japanese and our regular. Um, I don't remember the, the name of that uh, sweet potato. I'll have to look up at my records. Get out, Bonesy. Uh, it's November the 11th. Happy Veterans Day to all my brothers and sisters out there that we've served. I uh, just wanna say that you guys enjoy your day. It's nice. Um, it's what, 55 degrees, Rochelle? Feels good. Long sleeves, a little chilly, but once we get working, we'll get the blood pumping um, and we'll warm up. So, and then after that, I'll, we'll give you a garden tour. So let's, let's go down here and get these sweet potatoes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut all the vines so they're not in the way. I'm already seeing, seeing some potatoes. Get these out of the way. You know, we, we tried to grow in the ground, we have in the past. The problem is here in Texas, we have fire ants. And when you get hot weather, and you don't get any rain, when you water your sweet potatoes in the ground, the ants go to them and you can't, you can't do nothing about them. You don't want to put any poisons or anything on them. Um, and you just, you just can't. All right, now I'm, all right, this is clear. I'm gonna go ahead and um, move this. We've got a lot of rain lately, guys, so it's really wet. This is gonna be heavy. Okay, let me move the camera back so you can see. There's one on the top. Just gotta dump this over. Not a fat one but it's a sweet potato a lot of little tubers which are fine they're tasty no complaining here put the soil back in these pots. I think next year we'll try growing in the ground again. Little bozies. We'll eat my potatoes. <laughs> I'll take that. Finally getting rain, guys. We need it. Good job. I think that's gonna be about it. Last year we didn't get anything. So I'm not complaining. If you don't try, you don't even get anything. Okay guys, let me go on to the next one. Okay guys, we're gonna do this one. Yeah, we can do that. The roots are growing on the grow table. All right, these are the Japanese purple ones. I don't know, it doesn't look good so far. Yeah. Should we? Yeah, we'll just put them back in through the season. Yeah, 
see these little tubers. These are good, guys. You don't have to take the skin off of them. You can just saute them up with some butter or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and put all this back in and let it grow again. And maybe in the spring we can harvest. But that's what it is, guys. And I'm going to try to grow next year in the ground. Okay guys, so no sweet potatoes this time around. Hey, if you're not if you're not trying, you're not learning. If you're not failing, you're not learning. But I'll show you around the garden. We're going to do something different with the sweet potatoes. Eventually, like I said in past videos, this whole garden is going to be raised beds, a metal. Uh, we'll we'll plant an 8-foot row of sweet potatoes like that and I think we'll have a a better uh outcome. But yeah, let's take a look around. The weather is cool. We're getting rain. It is going to warm up back to the 70s again. Normal temperatures for this time of the year. Uh, lower 60s at night, maybe upper 50s. Uh, daikon radishes are doing good. Lots of dill. Surprisingly, the basil's hanging in there. All the herbs are looking good. Arugula is just popping. It's been really good to eat in salads. We've been having some snail problems, but I went ahead and used the sluggo. Uh, carrots along the fence. Um, mustard greens. They're doing really good and all of our beets uh, and turnips. No. Napa cabbage. A dinosaur kale? I don't know. I mean, I've been checking. It looks like something's eating them, but I haven't seen any worms. The rain is going to help. These plants are going to pop here pretty soon. Still getting the Italian red peppers. Happy about that. We've been harvesting them when they're really red and putting them in the freezer in a bag. Once we have enough, we're going to can them. Collard greens, we lost a couple. Um, I've been keeping an eye on them to make sure there's no worms or nothing on there. I uh, haven't been able to put any diatomaceous earth because it's been raining all the time, but I think they'll, they'll bounce back when it warms up and the sun comes out. Grow table's looking good. We've got beautiful lettuce, oak leaf lettuce, uh, different kinds. The spinach, not doing good this year. It's starting to come up in the back. Uh, I don't know why, maybe the seeds were bad. We'll, we'll, we'll try again. And the microgreens, we've been eating those in salads. They're great. Uh, this bed is empty. We did that on purpose. This is where we're going to plant our onions and our garlic. Um, I put in some radishes the other day, and they're starting to pop up. Just some rainbow radishes. Broccoli is doing real good. Uh, kohlrabi over here. Uh, I'm going to plant about a four-foot section of elephant garlic, maybe six foot. And I'm going to do that tomorrow. Miss Rochelle is doing organization projects, so I'm going to have to get off the film here and help her. Well, we didn't harvest any sweet potatoes this time around. That's fine, guys. It's been a challenge. I don't know why. Y'all want to put some comments. We've been gardening for 30 years. I tried everything. I even used a little 10-10-10 fertilizer, but still, we didn't get, we didn't get a lot of blossoms. Um, I don't know why. I don't, maybe it didn't get as much sun. We had a, a pretty, pretty hot summer, so we'll try a different method next time, guys. Hope everybody's doing good. Happy Veterans Day again. I'm going to close this out for now. Um, until next time, I'll film tomorrow doing the garlic, and I'll show you how we do that. Take care, guys. God bless.